So today I would like to talk about a very important topic, particularly at the moment as we're leading up to those exams in February or in April and May, and that is the question of a tutor. So first of all, what tutor should you be looking for? And again, what's the key things that you should be asking about a possible tutor for them to tutor you in the future? Now, number one is the experience. So I'm going to divide this into two categories. First of all, you need to see if they have expertise in the course that you are doing. Now, for example, if I take myself, my main experience is in IGCSE maths, A-level maths, and IB maths. So when you're looking for a tutor, you need to have evidence that they have either done the course themselves or they've studied that course to a very high level or they are teaching that course currently. Because there are lots of updates that are going on, if we take IGCSE for example, there's a big update in 2025. So you want to make sure your tutor knows about these updates, knows about the changes to the various courses so they can keep you up to date with all the latest skills that you need. Now, the second part of experience is in terms of actual teaching experience. Now, you don't necessarily need an actual active teacher to be a tutor for you, but you need someone with a number of years of actually teaching the content, again, to a face-to-face -face level. So that could be either at university or ideally actually teaching in the classroom currently. So you should look for that kind of teaching experience because they've had lots and lots of experience of teaching certain content concepts and trying to make it as easy as possible for you as well. And then number three is the track record. And any fair tutor should be able to say what their track record is in terms of providing results or providing um, the learning necessary in order to get those best results. So they should be able to say, OK, for example, I've taught an IGCSE class for a number of years and they performed okay, better than expected. Or um, they were working at a D grade, for example, and then they got a B grade at the end of tutoring. So some kind of measurement of, OK, can they actually succeed with you? I think the last key point here is organization. So is that tutor organized? Are they using a folder system or OneNote in order to work with you so that you can keep in constant contact with that tutor as questions arise? You can use, for example, OneNote is fantastic for this, where you can actually go between question and answer. And as uh, there are questions that you have over a week, for example, then you can answer those in a tutoring session. Now, as a quick aside, if you're looking for tutoring with me, currently I have no slots available. But if you check out the newsletter in the description below, that will keep you up to date with any tutoring spaces available that I will have for A-level maths, IGCSE maths, Ad maths, or the IB maths courses as well. So what do you think? Do you think I've missed anything out about an effective tutor? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've had experience with a tutor, okay, what was the most important thing from your tutoring sessions? So you can share that with the community here as well.